It's known as America's oldest car collection, and with vintage vehicles that date back to the 1890s, it's easy to see why the Lars Anderson Auto Museum is a sight to behold. I love it. I'll be back. This is a great place. The 14 cars on display were originally purchased by Isabel and Lars Anderson, wealthy socialites who were intrigued by a variety of vehicles, both European and domestic. They were pioneers, uh, if you will, of the motoring age, and they were early enthusiasts. So I think uh, Mr. Anderson or Mrs. Anderson, their favorite car was the next one. Executive Director Sheldon Steele says the Andersons bought a new car nearly every year, with technologies ranging from steam to electric. It all began with this 1899 Winton Phaeton. It resembles a horseless carriage with padded seats, buggy springs, and gas lamps on the side. One of only 100 made, it uses a steering tiller like a boat. Two years later, the technology progresses. Notice how this 1901 Phaeton has a steering wheel. So innovation and evolution, uh, the gradual change over time. And the Andersons spared no expense on their vehicles. From this 1907 six-cylinder engine Fiat that was considered a rocket ship in its day, to this 1906 CGV that made its transatlantic journey from France. It has a four-cylinder, 90-horsepower drivetrain chassis that in 1906 uh, cost eleven thousand uh, dollars would be about eight hundred thousand dollars today and despite its many amenities like a bench that folds into a bed for long rides the one thing everybody comments on is the porcelain commode so no matter what we're uh, hawking or displaying exhibiting people always walk away talking about the car with the toilet and here's something interesting that most people don't notice. The Anderson's monogram is painted on each and every car, along with a nickname. Some say it represents the qualities of that particular car, but others believe that since the Andersons didn't have any kids, naming each car was like naming one of their children. I think it's great. It's great. I'm, I'm just enthralled by all the cars here. Um, seeing cars that I've never ever seen before and I know a lot of old cars. Local resident Barbie Jetter is not only fascinated by the cars, she's also taken a liking to Isabel Anderson. She was the first woman in Massachusetts to get her driver's license and was often seen driving around town in this 1908 Bailey Electric Phaeton. Lucky lady, <laughs> really, really, and the fact that she's sharing this and I, I wish more people were aware of this. Unlike most museums where the car collection is pristinely restored, Steele says the vehicles in the Lars Anderson Auto Museum are featured in their original condition. They look exactly as they did when the museum first opened in 1949 and were housed in this exquisitely designed carriage house. And the car world is starting to uh, more fully uh, embrace the concept of preservation because something is only original once. That preservation versus restoration theme is part of an ongoing exhibit at Lars where this dusty 1939 Packard begs that age-old question along with these two 53 vets parked side by side. You can see the original factory installed gaps in this Corvette. It tells a story but the two together tell a better story. But perhaps the best story of all is the unyielding enthusiasm a Massachusetts couple had for the distinctive vehicles of their day and their long-held desire to share them with the world. So many wonderful cars in this collection. People just have to come and see it. It's fabulous.